Utah. All right. Okay. Uh, welcome to Bellingham Treehouse Yoga. Uh, my name is Lacey. We're going to do a quick 30 minute class that is a full body workout, um, full body stretch. It's perfect class to do before work or after work or whatever you're, when you're time crunched and you just need something, um, this is hopefully um, what you need. My assistant Roscoe is here and he will probably be sleeping the entire time. So without further ado, go ahead and come to your mat and stand and just start to shake out your, take out your stuff, shake out your shoulders and your neck, give yourself some wiggles, some arm circles, warming up your shoulders. And even when you're standing here, go ahead and come into your breath, your ujjayi pranayama, rotate your arms the other way. Maybe take one foot off the ground to start to work on some balance. Keep switching the rotation of your arms, switch your legs to other, your other foot. Maybe do some little slappy forward and slappy back things with the hands. That's a technical term, the slappies. <laughs> Ah, bring your hands behind your head and release your fingers. Just start to lay back and open your elbows as wide as you can, stretching through your armpits, maybe stretch to one side. Inhale and stretch the opposite side as you exhale. Come on back up, sweep your hands high and your breath in. And exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift on your inhale. And on your exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank pose, take a big breath and plank. And on your exhale, lower down for chaturanga. Cobra up dog on the breath in. Down dog for your exhale. Ha, <sighs> pedal out your feet here. Go ahead and shift forward. Maybe take your hands a little bit wider. We're gonna do kind of some push up things here. So in a wide plank here, take a big breath in, exhale, lower down, forehead touches the mat, inhale, press up, and just do some of these push-ups. You need to have your knees down for support. We're gonna do 10 proper push-ups here. I haven't been counting, but I think that's about six. After your 10th one, take it back to child's pose. Hips back to heels, circle out your wrists, wiggle side to side. So we're going to do basically a chaturanga to push ups to start things off with here. Also, my mat's upside down, which is really strange. I'm going to flip it over. There we go. I was like, this feels weird. <laughs> okay, so from child's pose, come on up to downward facing dog. Big breath in through your nose. Bottom of your exhale, find your squat at the top of the mat. Elbows right in between your thighs. Come back into the breath and on your inhale, stand all the way up, big reach. Feel toe your feet to touch, exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift on your breath in. On your exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, chaturanga. Cobra up dog, downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank, take your hands as wide as you need. Wider hands are gonna make your push-ups a lot easier. And try and do 10 again. Again, option to come down to your knees if you need to. Take your 10. And then come back, child's pose. Separate your knees, hips come back, so close your wrists. One more round of that shoulder should be getting nice and warm, wrists warm. Core warm. Ah. Downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet. And if you only want to do five, can you just cut it back? Or if that's enough for you, then that's totally fine. You can just do your chaturanga and wait just a second. Take a big breath in through your nose. Bottom of your exhale, find your squat again. Top of the mat. Ah. Come back into focus your breath. Next breath in, sweep your hands up, big reach. Heel toe your feet to touch, exhale, folding forward. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga, which is essentially a push-up in itself. So you can count this one of your push-ups if you want. Downward facing dog. 
Try and squeeze out 10 more if you can. Shift it forward. Take your hands as wide as you need. 10 more. You have earned your child's pose. Take it back. Huh. It's probably the hardest thing we're going to do. Maybe. Maybe. We still have to do some core work, too. But from here, walk your hands to the right side. Place your left palm on top of your right palm. Sink your hips back towards your heels. Breathe into the left side of your back. Huh. Walk through center and over to the left side. Place the right palm on top of your left palm. Sink your right hip back towards your right heel. Hmm. Let your breath be natural back into that flow. Coming through center, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Hmm. Slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Take an inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, ragdoll here. Take any movement or bind you'd like, you can grab for your elbows. You can grab your hands at the base of your spine, interlace your palms, and maybe stretch out your chest. This feels really good right now for all those push-ups. Maybe you want to traction your skull, bring your head to the base of your skull. <sighs> then let everything go and just wiggle it all out. Wiggle yourself up to stand as you inhale. Keep shaking things out like jello. Shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, hands down. Palms apart, heart center. Inhale, sweep your hands all the way up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, chaturanga, step or hop back. Cobra, upward facing dog. Lift out of your shoulders here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Extend your right leg up on the breath in. Stack and open your hip. Plus, press your left heel down into the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Switch it to the left tricep. To the right, left, right. Three-legged dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your left knee down. Anjaneyasana, sweep those hands up really high. And on your exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Fire through your left glutes, squeezing that left butt cheek so you're sinking deep into this right knee with this awesome hip flexor stretch on the left side. Hmm. One more big breath in. On your exhale, bring your hands to the inside of that front foot. Heel toe your right foot out to about two o'clock. And then step the left foot up into your squat. Malasana again. Moving side to side and come right on down to your butt into boat pose. So legs can either be parallel to the mat. You can feel free to hold under your legs if you need to. Or you can straighten everything out. Take an inhale. Exhale, Ardha Navasana, nice and low. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale, nice and low. Inhale up. Exhale down. Hold here. Just lift that right leg up and down while your shoulders are up. Left leg is hovering. Just scissor this right leg up and down. Lots of work just balancing right here. Switch to the left leg. Switch the left leg up. Down. Keep hovering that right foot off the mat. Three more. So your Arnavasana, take an inhale. Exhale, come up, roll over, cross knees. Jump it back to plank pose. Take an inhale. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Extend your left leg up, stack and open that hip. Press that right heel down, lift the left knee nice and high. Big breath in. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. To the right, to the left, and right, and left, and right. And left three-legged dog, kick it up. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Right toes stay tucked as you drop your right knee down. Anjaneyasana, big inhale. 
Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back with the opposite thumb on top this time. Pull your palms away from your spine. Sink as low as you need to to get that hip flexor stretch on the right side. Hmm. One more breath in. Exhale, release your hands to the inside of that front foot. Heel toe your foot to about 10 o'clock. Step your right foot up back into your squat. Sit low, hands at heart center. Keep getting into those hips here. One more inhale. On the exhale, come back down. All right, we're gonna do our starfish fill-ups here. These are kind of tricky, but basically you're gonna hover your feet, hover your hands, and you're gonna opposite foot to opposite leg. Just try and do five on each side with your own pace. These are hard, so take your time and don't forget to breathe. After your fifth ones, you can again, grab behind your knees, rock up and down your spine, massage your spine out, roll over cross ankles, come into cat cow this time. Inhale, open for cow. Exhale, curl and round for cat. Take your cat cow now. All the unfun <laughs> cardio work is pretty much out of the way. Now we just get to stretch. And feel really good. Feel free to go a little wide if you want to on both sides of your hips. Downward facing dog. From here, slowly walk your feet up to meet your hands at the top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Big reach. Exhale, hands at heart center. Coming into chair pose now, sit low, sweep the hands high. Inhale, the arms long. Exhale, slowly bring them back like you're trying to push water away. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back, interlace your fingers. Take weight out of this left foot. Come into figure four here with the bind in your hands. Sit nice and low, getting the stretch in the outside hip here. Release your hands, bring your hands down to the mat. And I want everyone to bring your hands down this time so you can go a little bit deeper in the bend in the right knee so you can really get this delightful stretch on the outside of the left hip. Hands come to heart center as you start to stand. It's okay if you're a bit wobbly. First balances are always tricky. Coming right into tree pose here. So that left foot into your right thigh. Hands can be at heart center. Shoulders are away from your ears. Come back into your breath, back into that focus. Then we're gonna take that left foot into the left hand, right arm's going forward for dancer pose. Kick high into that left hand. One more breath. Release your foot and you're already pretty much in half moon. So drop, ah, I'm falling. Drop your right hand down towards the ground and open your hips towards the left side for half moon pose. So big balance work here. Lift your left leg as high as you can. One more big breath on your exhale. Bring it down to warrior two. Heel to arch alignment here. Torso is parallel to the left side of your mat. Navel to spine. Inhale to reach it forward, coming into side angle pose. Drop that right hand down. Left arm can come into a half bind or a full bind if you'd like. If you take the bind, as always, open your chest up to the sky. Hmm. One more big breath. Exhale to release that bind. Inhale up and reverse your triangle. Straighten out that right leg as you reach the right hand back as far as you can. And then on your exhale, bring it forward. Right hand comes forward, hips go back, full triangle pose. Left hand comes to the sky. You're gonna pretend like you're fitting your body in between two panes of glass. You want everything to be in alignment just like that. One more big breath. On the exhale, bend through the right knee, pivot onto the ball of your back foot, drop that left knee down, straighten out the right leg. 
Ardha Hanumanasana, getting into the hamstring here. Hmm. So it's pointing and flexing your foot. And for this round, bring your hand to the inside of the, to the leg, to the left here. Let your hip kind of fall out off the mat towards the back. You feel the stretch moving into your inner hip here. Then we're gonna bend through that right knee. Bring that left knee forward a little bit more. Plant your left hand, coming into awkward lunge, all your toes, go to the right. You're gonna feel that stretch move from your groin to the outside of the right hip. Big, big, big change. Roscoe doesn't like this pose. And from here, take your right hand to the sky, look down at your left hand, step back to side plank pose. So you can stay here for three breaths. You can also do your core work, you can bring your elbow to your knee. You can grab a hold of that right foot, extend your leg out, but take three breaths in whatever variation you would like. And after your third one, go ahead and roll through chaturanga. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Ah. Notice how your sides feel left to right. So getting into some intense hip stretches early on here. Take an inhale through your nose. Out of your exhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, step or hop into your squat. Top of the mat. Hands right to chest, sitting up tall. If you can't quite get your feet flat on the ground, take them a little wider. If your feet are comfortably on the mat, maybe walk them in a little bit more. See if you can work on balancing with your feet closer. It gets a bit tricky. Next breath in, come all the way up, big reach. Heel toe your feet to touch, left wrist into your right hand, exhale to your right side. Inhale up through center, exhale to the left side, switch wrists. Inhale up through center, <clears throat> exhale hands to heart center. Ah, second side, coming into chair pose, sit low, reach those hands up on the inhale. Exhale, swim it back. Inhale to bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Really create resistance here. Inhale forward. Exhale, hands to heart center. Actually, interlace your fingers behind your back. Bring your palms away from your spine. Take weight out of this right foot. Come right into your figure four here with this bind. And sit as low as you can while you have the bind. We're only gonna hold it for another second. Working on stability in that left ankle and then release your hands down. So you can take full advantage of going nice and deep. Sit a little lower on that left knee, feeling the stretch move to the outer strip of that right leg. Head can be heavy. On your next inhale, we're gonna stand slowly, coming into tree pose, right foot into your left thigh. Hands at heart center. Shoulders away from your ears. Notice if you're gripping with your left toes. I do it all the time and it doesn't help me. So don't have to grip with your foot. Take one more inhale. Exhale, we're gonna catch this right foot in your right hand. Left arm's coming out for dancer pose. <sighs> really press into that right hand. Big back bend here. One more breath in. Exhale, release your foot and transition into half moons. The left hand's gonna come down. Right foot's gonna tip up. You're like a little teapot about to be poured out. Turning the torso to the right side. One more inhale. Exhale, landing back in your warrior two here. Heel to arch alignment. Maybe take a peek and make sure your feet are in a good spot. You're facing right in the middle of that left hand, right on the middle finger. Inhale, reach it forward, taking the side angle pose. Your can, your knee, or your knee, your arm can come to your leg, or you can bring your hand down to the mat. Right hand can extend up, forward, or into a full or half bind. Holding for about three breaths here. Really getting a nice shoulder stretch if you have the bind. One more big breath in. On the exhale, release the bind. Next inhale, reverse triangle. Swim all the way open. Left hand reaches back, left arm is straight. Breath in. Exhale, full triangle. Left hand forward, hips come back. 
So that left hand slides down to the shin, right arm goes to the sky. Twist your body so you fit in between those invisible panes of glass. Hmm. One more big breath in. And on your exhale, we're gonna pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Drop your right knee down, straighten out the left leg for Ardha Hanumanasana. Or if you wanna come into a full split at any point, you can always, always come into a full split here. Holding nice and low. And then we're gonna take the hands to the inside over to the right and let that left hip kind of fall out to the left. Moving the stretch into the groin here, into the hamstring. And we're gonna pivot back forward, maybe scoot that knee in just a tiny, tiny bit. Right hand plants. You're gonna go into awkward lunge, so all the toes. So I lift my hip, all the toes go to the left side. Stretch moves into the outer side of the left leg. Take one more inhale, peek down at that right hand. And from here, we're gonna step directly into side plank on that right side. You have the option to lift that leg if you'd like, staying for three breaths, take any variation. You can take elbow to knee, you can take your tree pose, you can take your toe out to the left, or sorry, to the right, whatever side that is, I have no idea. <laughs> After your third breath, take it through chaturanga. And we'll come into child's pose, knees nice and wide. <sighs> Circle out your wrists here. Hmm. Come on back up to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, walk out your feet. Take a big breath in through your nose. Bottom of your exhale, take your squat to the top of the mat. So we're gonna take a few seconds to stay here. If you'd like to play with the crow pose or come and do a headstand, we have a minute to play with that. Otherwise, just stay here and keep opening your hips. So if you wanna play with crow, Hands come flat, fingers spread wide, eyes go forward. Knees come up to your triceps as you start to lean your knee into your tricep. Take one foot up, maybe two. Feel free to hold your crow pose or you can slowly lift your head down to the mat. Maybe you just take a tripod, maybe you bring your feet up. Whatever feels good for you today. Lots of options. If you're comfortable in crow, maybe try coming from your tripod back into your crow. And we'll all meet back in our squat. Lots of work in the core for transitioning out of headstand into crow. And from here, we'll stand up, big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hmm, next breath in, coming to chair pose. Sweep the hands up. Inhale. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Ha. <clears throat> Inhale your right leg up. Stack and open your hips, stay or flip it into wild thing. Hips come high, nice big back bend here. Hips go to the sky. One more big breath. Come on back to three legged dog. Inhale your knee high. Exhale, lizard pose. Take your foot to the outside of that foot. Drop your left knee down. Toe should be about two o'clock. Feel free to keep this foot lifted if you want to move back and forth. You can kind of get into the ball and socket of your hip joint. It feels nice. You can also drop that knee down. Press your hip open. Lovely, lovely hip stretch here. We do all the time in this class. Hmm. Option for the quad stretch if you want to reach back and grab your foot. You can't quite reach your foot, pause this and grab a strap. It is nice to get the quads too. One more inhale. On the exhale, heel toe your foot over into pigeon pose. Oh yeah, and pigeon pose is something that we all need all the time. Shin mostly parallel to the top of the mat. Feel free to stay up high or you can fold forward and sink really deep into this one. Hmm. Okay. 
couple more breaths in your pigeon. And then I want you to bring your hands down, step back to plank pose, take an inhale, lower all the way down to the mat. Right arm's gonna extend directly out to the side. We're gonna take Swasti Kasana. Please pay attention to any pinching you might get in your shoulder here. We're gonna roll onto the right side. Left foot, you can keep it just like this. If you feel a nice stretch in the chest, we're going for a shoulder and chest stretch here. If you want a little more, you can bring that left foot down to your mat. I use my hand to kind of push me around a little bit deeper in this. If you have a history of injury, please be cognizant and listen to how your body's reacting to this. If it feels good, maybe you bring that second foot flat on the mat. Hmm. Take one more inhale on this side. And on the exhale, we're going to fold back over onto our stomachs, palms under your spine, up to tabletop pose, downward facing dog. Second side here, lift that left leg up on the inhale. Stack and open your hip, stay or flip it into wild thing. Stacking your palm right under your shoulder. Coming into this nice big back bend, hips go high to the ceiling, no saggy hips. Lift those hips up, up, up. One more big breath. Come on back to three-legged dog. Inhale that leg high. Step that foot to the outside of that hand. Again, your knee can stay up if you'd like, or you can drop it down. My foot's at about 10 o'clock. I like the version where I open this hip here. <sighs> Try and check all the boxes with this quick class. So hips, 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 shoulders, chest, little booty. Option for that quad stretch if you wanna reach back with your left hand and grab your foot. Take one more inhale. And when you're ready, take your pigeon pose, heel toe that foot over to the right side. Drop that left shin down, the right leg extends directly behind you. You can stay high if that feels good, or you can fold forward, letting that hip sink nice and low. I like to always rock in this pose too, because I feel like I get to a spot and it feels really good and I wanna go a little deeper. One more breath in. On your exhale, step it back into plank pose. Take an inhale, come all the way down to your stomach. Swasti Kasana, second side, the left arm extends directly out from your shoulder. We're gonna roll onto that left side. Option to bring that right foot flat on the mat. See how your body's feeling here. And if you want a little more, maybe bring that second foot flat. You can also reach this hand behind you too. It's a big, bit of bigger chest opener, whatever suits you. Just pay attention to any weird sensations you might have. This can be a tricky stretch for shoulders, people with shoulder injuries. <clears throat> ah, one more inhale. On the exhale, slowly coming back to your stomach here, press up to tabletop pose. Then we're gonna close out class tonight with my favorite awkward stretch, frog pose. So for this one, it might feel nice to fold your mat in half if you have sensitive knees. But what I want you to do is bring your feet so they're, the insides of your feet are flat on the mat. Your knees are wide as they can possibly go. So you might wanna walk your knees out nice and wide. Come on down to your forearms. And if you don't feel it already, then bring your hips back towards your heels. You are working those hips right now. This is one of those poses that always makes me chuckle when we do these outside in the park and people are just walking by and we're all in our little twerk, <laughs> twerk positions. <laughs> oh, but it is probably one of the best ways to get into the inner hips here. Holding for another few seconds. Mm. Two more big breaths. Ooh. 
Ooh, about to pop. All right, let's start to come on back out of that. And then I want everyone to come onto their shins tonight. And what I want you to do for clothes is the toe stretch. So take all your toes and point them towards your knees. You may have to help your pinky toes out a little bit because they like to neglect authority, don't we all? So toe stretch, bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes, relax your face. Think of something really positive here. We're gonna take one breath together on your inhale, sweep your hands up nice and high. Exhale, sigh it out your mouth. I hope you feel thoroughly stretched after this little workout and thank you for joining me and have a lovely rest of your day. <laughs>